Okay, so we're going to quickly show you how to get started as a speaker. Please join your session at least 15 minutes before the scheduled start time. First come to this page which is the live stream page and you'll find a join button next to your session. So click on that. If you don't see a join button, make sure you're logged in with the email you have registered with the conference. As a speaker you need to open Zoom meetings because we're going to use the Zoom app to drive your presentation. Uh, you joining as a panelist, we click OK and now you just need to click join with your computer audio so we can hear you. All pretty standard Zoom stuff. Now you need to turn your video on, it won't be by default. And right now we're in a practice session, so we're in a, an area before we go live. We just have a quick look at the things that you've got, you'll all be familiar with Zoom. You can share your screen as per usual in your operating system. Don't forget to select share sound if you're going to play any kind of content with audio. Of course, you won't be able to see yourself while you're presenting. It's always the challenge of these uh, virtual conferences. And then back in here, we've got uh, the ability to look at Q&A so people can ask you questions. You can see which ones have been answered. You'll have an admin helping you uh, with this to keep tabs on what's been asked, what's been answered. You can also see the participants that are a part of the event as well as you know, there'll be chat going on, people can raise their hands and all that kind of thing. Make sure you have a good light source in front of you and that there are no bright lights or windows behind you. Ideally keep your camera about eye level, try and avoid a low angle where the camera is looking up your nose. At this point it's also worth checking to make sure there's nothing distracting behind you. And then finally, when it's time for the session to start, you'll see that the little your practice session message at the top there changes to webinar has started. That's when you'll know that you are live and everyone will be able to see you uh, in the session. So be on your best behavior then. Uh, and when you're done, you just click leave webinar down the bottom right hand corner. After your session, you can access the Hangout. This is where you can answer people's questions about your session. You just click on view table, it loads it up, and then you have up to eight people who can meet in one of these tables. You can turn on your video and your microphone. They are off by default when you arrive, so make sure you turn them on. You can chat away with people. Uh, you can click on whoever you want to be uh, enlarged on screen when you're watching. You can share your screen, do all those good things, and you're away. From about 30 minutes after you've finished your session, you can access data about how it went. Go to your profile menu and select My Proposals. Then select View Stats next to the session you want to look at. You'll see a summary that includes the number of attendees and a graph showing retention during your session. You'll also find audience ratings and comments, a tab listing all the attendees as well as a record of the attendee chat. We hope you enjoy your experience at the event.